current state of the global economy signaling a decline in energy consumption has forced Saudi Arabia to make an unexpected announcement that has had a severe impact on the oil market. Thus, Riyadh has cut official selling prices for oil regions, citing sluggish demand for cast price in oil supplies from the OPEC and non OPEC producers are raising expectations of a surplus in the oil market in the year. A Reuters survey found that OPEC oil production rose by 70,000 barrels per day in December. In the US, oil drilling rigs were up by one at 501. Uh, and against this background, the oil market kicked off the new trading week with the losses, with the brand crude sliding to the $78 per barrel mark. However, its downside potential is limited. The benchmark is trading in a tight sideways range as market participants are waiting for buy signals. After all, geopolitical tensions in the Middle East continue to support oil prices. U.S. Secretary of State Antony Blinken went that the Gaza conflict could spread across the region without concerted peace efforts. Israeli Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu voted to continue the war and destroy Hamas. Moreover, he assumed that the conflict would last throughout 2024. The U.S. central bank's rhetoric continues to shape oil market trends. Another batch of statistics on the U.S. economy caused speculation that the Fed would keep interest rates high for quite a bit longer, thus pushing back expectations of a much rate cut. Now, oil trading instruments are in a correction. In particular, U.S. treasuries are back in the focus of investors who are moving some of the saving out of the gold and filling into high yield and U.S. government bonds. Meanwhile, New Year celebrations continue in Russia. Despite subdued trading activity, the ruble is hitting for 90 rubles per dollar, moving away from the 92 mark which is the upper boundary of the previous trading range limited by the levels of 92 and 89. This Friday, traders will receive data on the consumer prices in Russia. Most likely, the report will show an acceleration in December inflation. Traditionally, Russia witnessed a surge in the consumer sp spending on a New Year Eve. People buy gifts and products for a lengthy Christmas vacation, while retailers seek to make a excess profits and raise prices. The main question is how the upcoming report will be viewed by the Bank of Russia. Some believe that the regulator will ignore the seasonal factor and find a reason to raise the key interest rate again. And this step, uh, step is expected to drive the ruble up but signal a decline in the business activity. That's all for now. We continue to follow developments in the financial markets. Subscribe to the channel and follow news with us. See you soon.